Well, yeah, it's, it's um, she's a young young uh, artist coming from Berlin, and uh, and Mille and Sophia are friends from from earlier, and we have this song called Midnight Sun. And when we were recording it, I remember we, I, I, I was thinking like, wow, this verse is like so cool and, and the, the, one of the coolest verses the, that we have. And, and the chorus was good already when we were doing the demos. And uh, but then I, I remember like pointing out that something should happen here in the chorus, maybe like maybe there's something missing or uh, anything. And uh, But I, I didn't, didn't uh, bring it up to have uh, any other vocalist there. But once we were in Berlin, uh, Miller just decided to to ask her and, and see what she what she has to offer for the for the song and then she came up with a little bit of a new melody for the chorus so it was just you know she was in Berlin and we were working recording in Berlin so why not you know try it out and, and, uh, something something different for a change and and uh, and it makes also total sense because the song is inspired by the movie Midsommar uh and uh, the the it's a horror movie from uh Ari Asta and the 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 main character is a is a girl it's a lady so it does make actual sense to have a, a girl singing in the chorus so the, everything worked out pretty well yeah i forgot to mention yeah, that exactly <laughs> so that's why i was just like ah yeah Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it is a, it is about <laughs> humanity misusing nature and, and uh, the terrible things that are happening to our planet because of because of uh, yeah because of bad things like 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 for example like <laughs> how do you say it? like like mass production of food and and, and so on like gene manipulated products let it be plants or animals and and that something has to, has to be stopped and then and do something has to be done to to make a difference to this in the world it, it's 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 a big big theme and, and that's what the song is about that humanity is destroying our planet and uh, creator have have been known to have songs about the same thing actually earlier on already like when the sun burns red and so on so but but i it, it has a new aspect and a, and a new approach to the same theme um, and bringing it up to, to this day and uh because the song is called strongest of the strong and patrick will be and just happens to be a vegan and and the, and the strongest of the strong so exactly. it only makes sense that he's there visiting exactly yeah <laughs> Well, I, I must tell you, I'm not a vegan myself, but I, 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 I do believe that humanity is destroying our planet and something has to be done about that. Yeah, you can sing that and also eat meat. <laughs> you can still do that if you yes. want. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I guess, I mean, when we, when we started, even before we started uh, working on the new songs, before uh, Mila presented us the, the demos and whatnot, we were just having a, a little chat about uh, the, the general direction, what people had in mind. And I remember talking about, like, I love the last two albums, Phantom Antichrist and Gods of Violence. They're great and they're well produced. Uh, maybe too well produced in a sense, to me. That, that was just my point of view. And I said... It'd be nice to have uh, something a little bit more like maybe uh, uh, direct, straight to the point, but obviously not like a huge, let's go back to Pleasure to Kill and go like, ah, you know. So it, uh, why keeping the, the normal, the, the, the evolution of the band and everything that has been added to the, to the creator mix throughout the years, which is like obviously melody, but still keeping the aggression and whatnot, but to have something a, a bit more direct in, in, the, in the sound and possibly in the arrangements and whatnot. And uh, so that's what I had in mind. So when they, when Miller asked me when we were talking about it, that's, I, that's what I said. It turned out that everybody was on the same page. So that's basically where we went. The songs were what they were. And then we obviously worked on them for a long time mm -hmm. uh, throughout the whole summer of 2020. So we spent four months working everything in, with that in mind and everything just went, we were going, everybody was going in the same direction. So there was no argument and whatnot. And uh, 
the, I guess the fact that I'm new in the band also brought like a new, you know, new energy, new blood, fresh blood, excitement. So everybody was, uh, and I'm not just saying that, just like, oh, I'm amazing. But, I, you know, when you have a new member, it, it brings a, a, a fresh energy, So I'd say. That's um, very true. Yeah. And we have the opportunity of making two albums with this you know, great, wonderful producer, Jens Bulgren. And, uh, but it's always to make a third album with the same, same producer, there, there is a small risk of, getting stagnant and and we wanted to try to have um, not only a fresh new band member but a fresh new producer also yeah and, and he was he was up to that idea of the general direction what fred was just talking about now uh, and what and, and what we all agree agreed on and it led to the recording sessions to be well, slightly more spontaneous and uh, not trying to get away from from too much perfectionism and and to keep like a spontaneous feeling of uh, aggressive thrash metal music there you know that's that's uh, that's what we had in mind and i think it worked out very well we, and at first i was a little bit well, we were both a little bit worried is it a risk to take arthur risk as a producer but it wasn't it was the right decision yeah 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 and so so to answer the question i guess uh, the the new album is like a nice balance of everything with with the, so it's like natural evolution to taking where the band stopped after gods of violence but with that sort of like uh, Why bringing new elements, also bringing a bit more of, of like a sense of um, yeah, direct, more in your face, and uh, a bit more raw uh, sound, sonic wise. Yeah, there is, there is a, it is raw. Right? Yeah, <laughs> like raw meat. <laughs> yeah. Um, again, Miller, because Miller knows a lot of people. I guess he got in touch. They both live in Berlin. Uh, Miller lives half of the time in Berlin, half in Essen. And uh, that's where he's, he's known uh, Ellie for quite a while now. And they met up and uh, uh, Miller told him about like the, the, the title track. And, uh, and Eliran has like a very uh, fertile, like, you know, he's got a lot of ideas, obviously, as you know, you can see all his art. <laughs> and... Uh, and that's why he came up with the concept of like bringing back those flags, you know, as in like a, a hint to a, a flag of hate, obviously. And also, you know, to use like the what sort of um, of hatred of bad things you could do with those flags, you know, like so you've, you've got one like one guy uh, being, you know, hung up by the by the flag, another one like shoving down the throat and whatnot. So that that I guess that's what. Uh, the title and the idea um, uh, of the song uh, that's what that's what he came up with and uh, we're very happy with the result he was he was there as well uh, he, he was there Eliran was also there when we did the photo session for the um, uh, for the album yeah that's where we got to meet him meet him and uh, I remember we were a little bit worried that his hate overall is like it can be easily misunderstood, especially coming from a German band. Yeah. But the um, only thing he had to say to that is that just if anybody has anything bad to say about it, you have to tell them that the cover artist is a Jew. <laughs> that was a cover up. Um, but yeah, so so basically uh, that's that's how it came up. And uh, we're very, very happy with the, with the result. Yeah, it looks great. Eliran is the man. Mm. Yeah, that, that's um, 2001. Yeah, it seems like a long time ago. I mean, we're living the year 2022 now. Uh, and um, But somehow for me, it doesn't feel like it, like it is that long ago. You know, we've been <laughs> touring and, and making albums like, wait a second, five of them have we done together, I guess so. And uh, I also live in a different country, so I kind of live like, Two, two like different separate lives. One a creator life in, in, in Germany and my you know kind of an other other life in Finland. I mean, of course they're very intertwined. I mean, of course we're playing a festival in Finland like in a couple of weeks and so on. But for me, it, it doesn't seem like such such a long time. And I, I, I never really think about it. Uh, there's like 
yeah, 20 years, you know, it can it can go by in a human's life just like, and then you're wondering, hey, what happened? Where, where, where is it going? But but for me, I feel it's like a time very well spent, and I, I still enjoy being in the band very much, and and, and uh, to make new music with these guys is, is the best thing ever. So I, I, I still want to do it, and I still want to go on and... Uh, make albums hopefully in the future as well and now we're very excited about this new one that's coming out on the 10th of june <laughs> professional it's your sixth album with the band is it I I've, well yeah <laughs> i've been counting i've got nothing else to do final revolution enemy of god <laughs> arms of chaos phantom enterprise gods of violence oh yeah yeah I hate the others. oh yeah yeah well, yeah I didn't, well it's not out yet so <laughs> <laughs> well, all right okay, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, that okay for that for that particular question, you would have to ask him. But I remember we looked at it; we just like, "Oof, that's not going to be easy." Because we were, we were thinking, like, is the structure, you know, hard enough? Because when he starts to beat the drums, you know, just like everything moves. But uh, that went well. He's still alive, so that's good. Um, we flew to South Africa, so that was the first time for everyone. That was the first time that we were going there. And uh, I didn't really know what to expect from the country. And I guess it was the same for everybody. Yeah. You've got, got those pictures and, the, you know, you know, Nelson Mandela, Apartheid and fucking Johnny Clegg. And that, that's what I knew, you know. So I, was, I didn't know what to expect. And uh, it's a beautiful country. Uh, certain aspects are, are still like a little, but, you know, I, I don't want to get too political and whatnot. So we just went there. The weather was really nice. We spent a week yeah to do two videos because we shot midnight sun as well midnight sun took two days and strongest of the strong took one day two different locations we were staying in cape town uh and uh, strongest of the strong was in the middle of nowhere like a, an hour and a half away from the city uh so we just got there all there was was like a well, a bunch of uh, antelopes yeah antelope <laughs> cows we saw some some uh, zebras and whatnot. It was actually really cool. And the, the, the sun was just like, it was, it was really hot. And there was a lot of dust. And as you can see in the video, there's like a guy on the motorbike that's just like around us. So it was already dusty as it was. Like you were just like swallowing dust all the time. And the director just like, hey, I've got a guy on the motorbike and it's just going to fucking, you know, drive around you. So you're going to swallow a lot of dust. Like, yeah. That's amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> so we swallowed about like, I don't know, two bottles of dust. And uh, and uh, the um, and it was great. Like we, we could tell, we could already tell like the, the pictures were great. You know, sometimes someone is getting filmed and then you go behind the camera and you go, like, wow, that, this is going to be cool. The, the view was amazing. Like I said, there was nothing around. So we shot the video and then we drove back and it was pitch black because obviously in the middle of nowhere, you, you don't have like those uh, road lights or nothing. So we were just like driving in the dark. We saw some animals. One of the, who's that? It was like the, the makeup lady or the, um, the um, how do you call that? The wardrobe lady mm -hmm. got stuck in the, in the sand dust. So we had to go out and push. And uh, we saw some more animals. And then uh, we were coughing like hell. And then we came back home and uh, I was coughing. And I thought that was dust. But it was COVID, so I caught COVID from uh, from South Af uh, South Africa, which is pretty cool. So that was my behind the, the scenes <laughs> <laughs> memories. But we, we had really great time. The team, uh, the the working, you know, the crew, everybody was uh, it, it was great. And we had the chance. Uh, Sammy and I we went on a little uh, trip on the was it the second day. It, yeah, we had a little bit of time off and we got to see some penguins. Yeah, <laughs> we went We went to the, there's a beach like uh, an hour away, drive or so, and there's a beach with like penguins. So you can just like look at them and you can swim with them. They're pretty shy, but we saw one of them going like, and, <laughs> and that was pretty cool, pretty sweet. So uh, I really have great memories from uh, from that country. And uh, I mean, the, the like I said, you know, the, 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 the trees, the, the animals, the um, everything, it, it looks, you know, it's, it, was, it was a great experience uh, altogether. And the, and the bonus is that the videos are actually pretty good as well. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it was great. Absolutely. It was nature so different than anything I've seen before. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, that's a that's a serious question. Very. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I think I think I I don't know. I don't want to sound pessimistic, but I think we are doing the same mistake. Like I don't know about you, but when I was stuck in during the pandemic, I, I was stuck at home. And everybody was, and then you could see animals coming back in the cities, you know, and and uh, the, there was less pollution, and everybody was just like. Oh, this is great. I think we should learn from this. Yeah. yeah, we should really like we should be driving and this is great. And then as soon as you can open, fuck yeah, blah, 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 it's back to normal. So I think everybody, you know, the humanity is doomed and uh, we're all gonna die. And there's no coming back home back. I think human nature is what it is. There is some good, there's some good people, there's some bad people, and uh, I don't know. I mean, I try to see the good in in you know in, in everybody, but I think there's like a like a sort of like self-destruction that is there. Uh, I don't know. It's very hard to go back. Very hard to go back. If tomorrow you say to save the planet, everybody has to stop using electricity. You can't use your phone. You can't use, the, you know, everybody wants the little comfort and, you know, I don't know. Where am I going? This is too serious. But it's a good question. Well, I, I guess like, well, when I when I was younger, like like a teenager, <laughs> I, I um, moved with my very first band, Walter, over over here to Berlin. And we we had some shows. We just do it in a punk kind of attitude, do it yourself. And for some reason, I just ended up staying there because I liked it back then quite a lot. Uh, Helsinki was maybe back then slightly more introverted and, and maybe not as international as it is today. Now nowadays I like Helsinki very much. But back then I felt like I needed to like just be somewhere else for a while. You know, like people usually do when they're 19 or 20 years old. So I don't know. And then at some point I moved to Dortmund, which is close to Essen around this area. And it was like 97 or something when when um, creators, guitarist Tommy Fetterly back then, his hand got injured. And Mila just, we had some common people that we both knew and, and somehow just decided to call me and I, I replaced the, the other guitarist for for, for like, a, like a short tour. It was like festivals and so on. And then afterwards, Tommy came back and I, I moved back to Finland and then a short while after that, uh, Mille called me if I would like to record with them um, this album, Violent Revolution. It was back in 2001. And I just said, yeah, of course, I'll do it. You know, it was like, because I, I like the music and, and I like the, like the previous, previous albums very much. So, so I, I, I didn't think long about it. I said, yes, of course, I'll, I'll come straight away. Like, where shall we meet? You know, that was my question. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's more or less usually it goes with creator that that uh, Miller sends the band some rough demos what he has done by himself at home or with his friend or something, and uh, then we meet up all together as a band to uh, uh, to arrange them and and uh, and record a new demo. <laughs> so that is kind of the. That is kind of the stage when when the whole band is very much involved and, and, and new ideas uh, come or not and come or go and and then it's like uh, there's a, there's a lot going on, on on that stage and we did quite a few of those sessions during the pandemic time in 20 and 21 we did like two weeks we would spend here in Essen the whole band you know old school style in the rehearsal room just playing the songs over and over again and, and making demos of them. We should, we would concentrate on three songs per two weeks and then go home, listen to them and let them let them like live their own lives and then concentrate on three songs again for two weeks and then go back home for two weeks again. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how many of those sessions we did. We I think four, four or four, five. Four. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, so a lot of work like uh, was for for the entire band yeah but Mila is the sole lyricist yeah and and uh, and then we tried to 
make everything else work as a band. <laughs> as as uh, as a matter of work, uh, I had double duty because I was the one with the computer and the, the the little studio to record everything. So uh, I I would record everybody separately. Like once once we had like uh, the song structure that we were happy to, uh, and uh, that I. Uh, that we checked every little detail. And I, I can be very anal when it comes to details and riffs and melodies and blah, blah, blah. So I was just like going... <laughs> and then we would record everything. And then uh, Sammy and I were sharing an uh, Airbnb. So we uh, we had like a lot of uh, a lot of fun, fun nights. It was actually quite cool. But I would, I would spend a lot of time on those demos and adding some stuff without telling anyone. You know, I, I'll be like, adding some extra guitars, some arrangement, and then send them again. So I would, I, I personally was like constantly working on them. And, uh, and so in that sense, yeah, the songs that we, that we work on together, uh, it's definitely, you know, even though Miller comes with the, the raw material, at the end of the, the result is like, you know, 100% like creator. Because the drums, once Ventor starts to play, you go like, aha, okay, that's what <laughs> was missing. And then, you know, and I, uh, yeah, you would... short, short answer would be Miller is the main songwriter, but it's a group effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I co wrote a song called Dying Planet. It's the last one on the album. It's one of the best, probably. <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's a cool song, though. I mean, it's, it's quite different. I, I, I hope everybody did listen to the album, or maybe not you, but it's, it's kind of cool. It has a different vibe to it. I brought like my sort of death metal influence into, into the pot and, uh, I was I was pretty happy that being the new guy, although it's been three years now, so it doesn't feel new, but for you guys it is. Uh, and well, and I'm still be the, the last one that arrived. Uh, but yeah, it was it was cool to have that much uh, input, and uh, I think we we worked well as a, as a team. They let me they let me in, and they gave me. I didn't have to fight for my to find my spot. It, it just like became very natural, and they were not like. Oh, you knew that. Yeah. Shut up, get in the corner. <laughs> no, I, they, no, no, no. It was actually very, very smooth. So, uh, so yeah, happy times. 